Today, we are gonna be talking about... Am I allowed to say that on YouTube? All right, let's try that again. Today, we are gonna be talking about your kitty cat. Now I've sat here and talked about the girl downstairs many, many, many times before, but I've never made a dedicated video to it and I really wanted to cover all my bases and help you girls out. I'm not specialized in the topic of kitties. I, you know, I know a little bit about mine, okay? Let's just say that. And I know what works for me, so I wanted to kind of give you guys some insight on things I've learned from other people and also have learned over the years myself. And I wanted to talk about that today with you guys. So hopefully my hair and my jacket that is now my blanket is matching the vibe of today's video because yeah, your kitty does have some red stuff that comes out of it occasionally. I didn't mean to be gross, I'm so sorry. So if you guys want to know anything and everything is, then keep on watching. But before getting started, please do not forget forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And make sure that you follow me on Instagram so you guys can know when I upload because I always tell you guys when I am going to on there. Okay, let's get into the video. I've never actually seen a dedicated video to the girl part because I feel like maybe people feel uncomfortable talking about cleaning it properly and just how to handle it and deal with it and shave it. So I'm gonna cover all the bases and things that I've learned over the years. It might be a little scattered. I have a lot of ideas all over the place, but hopefully you guys get the gist of everything. So write down some of the tips that I have for you guys today. Okay, so let's talk about the appearance of it because that is usually what is most important to us girls because we're just like that. Okay, we overthink things. We want everything to be looking well done and well trimmed. So let's talk about that. Obviously, you can rock so many different looks down there. You can do a triangle. You can do a full on bush. You can do it completely shaped. You can do a strip. You can do whatever you want. You can do a full flush heart if you want to. You can do a heart. Honestly, it doesn't matter. I wanted to talk about shaving it and grooming it and all that. So something that I've really noticed is when you shave the area of the lips, not necessarily the top, but the lips, it helps with smell. That's just my opinion. I don't know if it's because I'm thicker and I feel like if there's hair down there and then my legs are together and they're just like rubbing up against each other and making it hot, hot. hot. Sometimes if there's hair, it just makes it more hot. So if you struggle with heat down there, then make sure that you are keeping it trimmed and well shaved. Some razors that I love, love, love are the Gillette Fusion razors. I will also link some of the razors on the screen so that you guys can just like write them down and get them because I love razors that are sharp. They work really well and they don't cut you easily. So these are all things that are super important to me when dealing with shaving. Also shaving creams and lotions. It depends on the season. Right now I am going to be using a more thicker cream shaving lotion only because I think it really helps with my drier skin in the winter time. But in the summer, I use more of like a water-based gel one. I will link both of them here on the screen, but you guys can use whatever works for you. I just want to help you guys out with that. Ingrown hairs. Honestly, I could shed a tear for every ingrown hair I've ever had because they are painful. They are so painful, honestly. I'd rather die than have an ingrown hair. No, that's not true. But honestly, it is so painful and I haven't been able to tackle them quite well over the years. I'm not saying that I'm perfect at dealing with them because sometimes I do get them. Like I have curly hair. So curly hair in all the areas sometimes can just like curl right back into the skin and like do you dirty like that. So we're not gonna have that anymore. So a couple of things that you guys can do for ingrown hairs. Exfoliation, obviously you guys already know. If you've been following my channel for a minute, you guys know exfoliation is my thing. Exfoliation is key. You can obviously use many different exfoliations. I use many different ones at the same time. So I'll start off with a loofah or any type of exfoliating body scrubber that you guys can use or find, whatever you guys choose. You can even use a washcloth. That is some sort of exfoliation. Then I like to use a physical exfoliation like a scrub. I love the Tree Hut scrub. It's one of my favorites and I'll rub it, rub it, rub it until the area is nice and soft and smooth and it feels as if the hairs are getting like lifted out of the skin a little bit. You can also use exfoliation gloves. They are amazing as well. I love them. I love using them. I can get really in the nooks and crayons with them because you can like use your hands to get in between. So they're really great as well. So honestly, it depends on what you guys choose to do. I think the best type of exfoliation for ingrown hairs is a physical exfoliation like a scrub. So that's just my opinion, but they all work really well. Now, honestly, you can use Nair down there. I don't really love to recommend it to younger audience or just women in general, just because I'm afraid you guys are gonna burn yourself because some of you guys have sensitive skin, but if you don't have sensitive skin, I have tried using 
sitting there down there I don't put it in the lips I just put it on the top kind of like where you would get a bikini trim if you guys want to use Nair because you're afraid of ingrown hairs and you think that this will help a little bit better definitely make sure that you're protecting the area that would make it really painful and use the Nair on the top and you'll be good to go I actually got introduced to tend skin um, a couple months ago and I honestly I'm gonna be real with you guys I never knew it even existed that's just probably me being like dumb or whatever but tend skin is really great for razor bumps and ingrown hairs so I actually found mine on Amazon you guys can pick yours up on there it's incredible it's literally the key ingredient to preventing ingrown hairs and razor bumps so if you want to snatch bikini area and everything to look right and good and honestly the least amount of dark spots and issues as possible tend skin is really great there's also an ingrown hair kit on Amazon I will put it in the description box down below you guys can pick that up as well it comes with like a little exfoliation like scrubber brush thing that you can use for your downstairs area and it also comes with a couple other things as well there's also a bougie very bougie ingrown hair oil that you can find online and it's by the brand fur I will also link it for you guys so that you guys can see that out and honestly try out whichever one you want you're going to have to go through some trial and errors with this type of situation because everybody's skin is different my skin is super sensitive so when I am dealing with ingrown hairs and razor bumps that they are extremely intense they are very much there and prevalent where some people when they shave they can literally dry shave an area don't understand it but they could dry shave an area and nothing would happen to them me I would break out in like bumps and hives so no honestly it's really good to prep your skin get it used to the process of shaving but also take really 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 good care of it that is so important and I promise you your downstairs area will look phenomenal okay let's talk about cleaning your V because cleaning is so important and I feel like a lot of people use so many different products I'm going to throw out my favorite one you guys already know in all my videos I've talked about this brand and this is actually not a sponsored video because I use this every single day I love Empress Body Yoni Wash. What I love about it is it's very, very, very natural. It has the most natural ingredients, nothing chemically in it. I've noticed and I've used in the past Vagisil and also Summer's Eve, they have a smell to them. I don't know what the smell is, but they smell like chemicals. I don't like that at all. What I love about this Empress Body Yoni Wash is it's a foam, so it's very light in texture when you rub it in your hands and you can really massage it into your area and it doesn't sting, it doesn't burn, it doesn't throw off your pH. It's honestly a win win. So really quickly, if you want to know exactly how I wash my downstairs area, if this is your little bean, let's just say this is your bean and you have two lips. I like to take it and kind of get in between the area, get the top, get the, you know, the lip area. Don't go in. A lot of people say, oh my God, don't wash inside of your V. No, do not wash inside your V, but definitely wash between your legs. Don't just wash the top portion. That is so important because it gets hot down there. It just gets steamy and nobody wants a steamy cooch. You want to have it nice and clean and smelling good without being overpowering and like flowers because personally, I don't want my V smelling like flowers. I want it to smell like a clean V. Now, occasionally I will use some sort of yoni oil if I'm feeling a little bit dry down there. And I'm not saying for sexual reasons, I'm just saying in general, if I feel dry or I need a little bit of moisturizing after taking a shower and shaving, I will use the Empress Body Yoni Oil, which is amazing as well. And it has amazing natural ingredients in it. So I don't feel like I'm putting any chemicals down there and it just leaves it nice and slick and it looks really freaking good. Let's just say it looks Okay, so wipes are really important. You should be using wipes. You should have wipes in your everyday life. You should carry them in your purse. You should have them in your bathroom. You should have them in your boyfriend's bathroom. You should have them everywhere. It's so important to have wipes because they just help clean up the unwanted mess that you just don't want. So one being, I've noticed that you're not cleaning yourself properly when you have your period. I know, red for period. Okay, we are discussing periods right now. This is so important. I've done a period video before. I will link it on the screen to get more in depth, but pretty much, you need to clean yourself with wipes. I feel like you can use toilet paper, but always follow up with wipes. It's so crucial. It will really clean the area, especially if you have hair down there that might be growing back. Blood can get trapped in those areas. So wiping it clean and really it's just the time of the month where you just need to do extra, extra care to your kitty and you can't 
skip any steps. You need to really take care of her. So wash her good with the soap and make sure that you're following up with wipes when you are using the bathroom. Also remember that period blood can travel to your booty. So make sure you're cleaning that and wiping that as well. And of course the wipes that I use, I've talked about it already a million times on my channel. If you're new here and you don't know, I love Heavenly Bottoms wipes. They're incredible. They smell better than the average baby wipe. Let's just put it that way. And they're not irritating. Could honestly put my money down on that brand and say that it's probably the best wipes on the market right now. Okay, let's talk about taking care of your body to prevent your downstairs area from making you insecure. So a lot of the girls complain about maybe smell and things like that. And I don't want to hear from any point dexters in the comments that if it smells, that there's something wrong with you. No, it's not, it's not something that's wrong with you. First off, we usually overreact to situations. So usually it doesn't smell as bad as we think it does. And two, sometimes we just have imbalances in our body that we can easily fix. One being, if your pee is coming out bright yellow or dark yellow, you are doing something wrong. You need to be drinking more water. It is so important. Water will make it smell better because if you are peeing dark yellow pee, it smells bad. Usually it doesn't smell good. Let's just put it that way. So you don't want that coming out of your area because it can smell up the whole area. If you are drinking more water and you're seeing clear in the toilet, you're doing something right. So definitely work on your water intake. It's always about the outside and inside care. It's not just about one or the other. You have to do both. So also, if you take better care of your insides, you'll have to do a lot less on the outside as well. So that's really great. Foods can also play a huge part in making sure that she is doing okay. So make sure that you're eating the foods that are really good for that area. Make sure that you look it up. If you guys wanna see a whole video on Punani foods, I can do a video on Punani foods. I can. I've been there. I know which ones work for me. I just know. Let's talk about sex. Now, a lot of girls are worried about being loose or having ugly vagina. This is something that we've all struggled with where we'll look down there and we're like, why doesn't it look like the movies? Listen, they are heavily airbrushed, okay? Like I really do believe that you watch these videos and you're not even realizing the amount of makeup that is on them. And if there isn't, I promise you, if you have a cooch, and you take good care of her and you look good, nobody cares what she looks like, I promise. Nobody cares. So if you're worried about big lips, no one cares. If you're worried about one lip is bigger than the other, nobody cares. If you're worried about a little soul patch somewhere down that you forgot to shave off, nobody cares. I think the thing that people probably mostly care about is the smell, which also you shouldn't be so weary about because usually you think it smells worse than it does. So if you're just doing your basic hygiene and food intake and water intake, you're good. Also, it's so important to pee before and after sex. It's like, uh, like I tell you, I, I, I honestly have heard stories from my good friends and I've heard them even online. You can really get a UTI from not doing that. If you hold it in and you do it and then you, yeah, just pee before and after the best you can. Obviously it's going to be like right before or right after, but try to make sure that you're letting, you know, everything out and go. And if you really want to really increase everything perfect down there, cranberry juice. And if you don't want to drink cranberry juice, you can take cranberry capsules. Don't douche. Don't do it. We are not douching today. Okay. We are not going to do it any day. There is something so uh and wrong about douching. I just am not into it. I honestly don't even really take baths that often because I don't want to let my dirty water being in my cooch. So I don't even really take baths that often because of that. It's just not good. So honestly, like, please don't do any of that. You don't need that. It, your your vagina is a self cleaning system. You do not need to do that. It's, it's honestly going to be fine. You're going to be okay. No, you will not get loose if you have sex a lot. I promise. Girls have babies, four to five to six babies, and it's fine. Don't worry. You're not going to be loose. I figured I'd point that out in this video just because we are talking about the kitty. And I wanted to mention that because I get this DM a lot and I just want to nip it in the butt. We are meant to be sexual beings. She is good. But if you want to make her tighter, you can do Kegel exercises, they're really good for you. And there's a lot of workouts that you can do in your workout regimen that will get everything snatched and tight. And that's kind of what I'm doing right now with my trainer. So I'll let you know how it's working. And I wanted to mention one last thing and it's all about the V darkness. I get so many DMs about it being dark down there, being darker than your skin. If you have specific melanin tones, honestly, it doesn't even have to be a specific melanin tone. I've noticed it on white, black. It is very normal to be darker down there. Like I said, we are not in a home movie. You are not going to look perfectly airbrushed down there. If you really are super insecure about it and you just can't go on with life, don't tell anyone I told you this, but just put a little makeup on it. If it really bothers you, I don't think you should, 
but if it really, really affects you and it's making you not want to be a sexual being because of it, put makeup on it. I also just think that you should just gain some self-confidence and realize that, like I said, nobody really cares. Nobody cares. And if they do care, they're probably a child. So who cares? And two, it probably looks way better than you think it does. So stop beating yourself up over your girl part. It's supposed to look like that. Okay guys, that is pretty much everything that I have today about the kitty, the cookie, the punani. So if you guys have any other questions about this interesting and amazing topic, because us girls, we rule the world. Let me know down below and I will answer them for you guys. And of course, do not forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.